Hey, I'm Brady Higginbotham, and welcome to Ask a Dev. Today's question comes from Jin Ru, and Jin Ru asks, what's the deal with Microsoft's new web browser? For those who may not have heard, Microsoft recently announced a new browser codenamed Spartan at their launch event for Windows 10. Spartan is Microsoft's entry into the current pool of browsers, meant to hold up to the likes of Chrome and Safari. It will come with a number of new features, including integration with Cortana and a new reader mode that's similar to the one currently in Safari. Microsoft has also confirmed that Spartan will support extensions in a future update. The nature of this support is unknown at this point, but it is believed that it will be compatible with Chrome's own extension system, so you'll be able to include your favorite plugins like Adblock and LastPass. Spartan's biggest draws for developers are its interoperability with other browsers and updated compliancy with modern web standards. Along with Spartan, Microsoft is introducing Edge HTML, a new rendering engine forked from the current Trident engine that runs IE. Edge essentially removes a lot of legacy components that have plagued IE, most notably the removal of document modes and VB script support. Some of the new capabilities that Edge brings to the table include support for the Preserve 3D Transform rule, media queries based on touch and mouse events, and advanced support for ES6 standards. It also brings updated dev tools with a new network analyzer, pretty printing for HTML and CSS, and asynchronous stack calls. You can check out status.modern.ie for a more thorough list of supported standards. Spartan will be powered by Edge and the Shocker JavaScript engine that was introduced with Internet Explorer 9. It will work on Windows phones, tablets, and PC platforms. Spartan seems like a good step in the right direction. The biggest downside, however, is that it will only be available to Windows 10 users. Microsoft has stated that it will monitor demand for Spartan, but has no current plans to release it for 7. Windows 10 does come as a free upgrade for 7 and 8 users, but those not wishing to upgrade are kind of left in the dark. Project Spartan is still in development, but if you'd like to check out the new Edge engine now, you can enable it in Internet Explorer if you have a Windows 10 preview build. For those who don't have access to a preview build, such as Mac users, you can use the Remote IE Cloud Service at remote.modern.ie to stream a version of IE with Edge. You will need a Microsoft account to do this. That's it for this episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.